Greetings once again fellow girls, guys and gamers, this is Small Archangel welcoming you to another episode of Rising World Survival in point of fact, the last episode in the current series, yes more on that at the end of the video, but this will be the, the last in this current series, although I do hope to soon be starting another when we get uh, the update which introduces character models, clothing etc but before there we have one last thing that i want to do with our bug here i this is one of my favorite builds so far i'm enjoying it really quite a lot but there is one important thing it is still lacking and that is food and in point of fact water every time my canteen becomes empty i have to go outside of the bunker and find a water hole to fill up that is just very, very unbunker-esque. And I also have to forage all the food from the outside too. A bunker should be self-sufficient. As such, we have got another job that we need to do. And as I said, I'm kind of hoping I'm going to be able to do this in one episode. If not, then we may possibly have two episodes remaining. You never know. So what we are going to add today to our bunker is a hydroponics lab plus well um could be a bit of a challenge to make a well look sort of i don't know more uh more modern uh perhaps than the one that we have at the castle but we're gonna give it a good old try so we're actually gonna have our entrance uh to our hydro lab going in this direction and this is why i've kind of left this frame sort of empty is because uh, I like the, the, the that above it. If we could place a door there and keep that light, that would be pretty good, actually. So that's what we're going to try and do. There we go. We'll keep our blocks, too. I have in my inventory a load of blocks, which we should hopefully be able to use, utilize for this. Uh, what we might have to do is make the corridor uh, the same as the side of our, this is the side of our storage room that we can see there. So we might have to make it the same or we might have to just move this over ever so slightly. But I don't want to lose the symmetry here. So, uh, so I'm not sure about that. We might just have to make the corridor look the same as our storeroom. There we go. And then the lab itself is going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be. A little bit different with the decor on the inside but obviously first I'm gonna have to do a lot of mining out to empty out a sort of a suitably large area for this because it's gonna have to be a fairly large room I think I've got some idea of the ground plan but uh, before we do anything else yeah I'm gonna have to do some serious mining as per it so I'll see you folks when we've got this cavern uh, a suitable size Okay, so I've finished our corridor and it looks okay. And I think if we were ever to add anything on that side, we'd have similarly just a red utility kind of uh, stripe down the side. And that's what the red is kind of means. We've got green for our living area. We've got pink for our dormitories. Yeah, it's not a color I would have chosen myself, given a little more choice. Uh, and we've got uh, red for utility. So we've got this long corridor, which goes uh, long enough, far enough back to avoid the bits of uh, the base that we have above there you can see a little bit of it just there uh, and also uh, well past our there you see there's the end of our storeroom as well so uh, then we've got this large cavern here which I've tried to dig out in a roughly square kind of shape and I'm not convinced it's quite large enough even now but it's one of those things when you're digging out underground in this game it's very very difficult to make it even vaguely even also very difficult to judge whether you're going uphill or down or a mixture of the two or how far back you need to go and all the rest of it so what we really need to do now is what we normally do when we have done with all of the other uh, with all of the other rooms, which is to try and sort of map it out somewhat. Do we have any blocks suitable for doing that? I've got a few little concrete blocks left over. Uh, let's see. I've got my flooring and what have you sorted out in my head, what I want to use for that. So do we have some vaguely sacrificial blocks that we can use to 
to block this out. Okay, given that this is probably the last thing we're going to build in this bunker before I blueprint it and save it for future games, uh, I'm going to use these blocks here, which we've used previously, but we have no need of at the moment. So, uh, again, I think I probably need to cut away a little bit more there, actually, don't I? Because uh, we're going to need to go a little bit. We want this to be sort of, as I said before, vaguely symmetrical. So these are not the blocks we're planning on using for anything, uh, just to map out the walls. And we're not even going to be able to see them. So how many of that was? Two, three, four, five. That's a half dozen. And then we'll do the same in the opposite direction eventually. At the moment, we can't actually go that far because I haven't mined it out sufficiently. We've got some torches in here for the moment for the lighting, of course. Um, there, I think that's five, isn't it? There we go. We're going to need to go one more in that direction, aren't we? And then depth-wise, uh, I'm going to want to go... Hmm, I reckon we probably want this to be bigger than this. So say I've got a basic idea of ground plan. Uh, so we actually want, I think, well, they've got about eight each side of the doorway, maybe. Six, seven, and one more there. Which means I'm going to need to mine this out a little bit more. Always very difficult to, to judge these things, I find. And then depth-wise... Well, we're going to want to go roughly all the way to the back there, and I have a feeling it's going to disappear underground somewhat. Oh yeah, and we're on a massive angle as well, aren't we? Yep, so you can see I haven't even vaguely done this straight. But that is why we kind of need to know what we're doing, so I'm going to abandon that for the moment, and we're just going to, I'm just going to have to mine out some more, because otherwise I really can't see where I'm going with this. Well, the room is all sort of planned out now, at least. I've extended it a little bit to the sides as well. It's still a rectangle, but it's now 10, well, it's 30 blocks long. Uh, and then it's actually, uh, I've got 10, uh, I'll have 14 blocks width, I think. So uh, it's not that much uh, longer than it is wide. But the reason I have done that, and I will get our blocks here again, and just to sort of show what I mean, is that I actually want, uh, I want a corridor going around the outside of, uh, of our hydroponics lab. Not necessarily the end wall there, but certainly at the sides, I would like a sort of an observational thing going on. So we're going to have our doorway here. So again, we'll just map that out. So that's going to be our doorway into the lab. And then we're going to have uh, a corridor, at, which is about just two blocks wide, I think. Just a fairly narrow corridor away around the outside, which means we're going to have it sort of about like there. And then, of course, it's going to go all the way along here to the end like that and then similarly on the opposite side and I'm just doing this because I'm wondering if it has to be this narrow or whether we can afford to spend you know to, to, to make it a little wider um, now I can't actually see that can I but never mind so it's going to be about there and I'm going to run out of blocks there we go but I've got some more sacrificial blocks here that I can use as well there we go I'm sort of like that there we go okay um so that is sort of the idea there and again these are kind of at floor level so they won't be visible because they'll be underneath uh the walls but that is sort of our layout here so you can see these corridors are going to be sort of fairly pokey um but uh, we're going to have obviously a solid wall on this side and we're going to have windows uh looking in so like i say it's a kind of a um, an observation kind of corridor, but also, of course, our, our hydroponics lab wants to be quite a quite carefully controlled environment, uh, given this sort of underground growing. Um, and obviously, it's possible to grow stuff underground in Rising World, or it certainly was the last time I tried it. I'm hoping that hasn't changed. Uh, but if you want to be realistic about it, you do need to sort of, yeah, think, well, yeah, it's going to have to be a lab. It's going to have to have lots of lighting, which you can make believe as growing sort of lighting. Um, and uh, yeah, it needs to be a carefully sealed environment. So that is the plan of what's happening here. So... Okay, so that's what we've got there. We have got a doorway that's going to be there. And actually, I probably didn't want to put those there because... Uh, oh, let's get them out again. Because... No, 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 no. My sledgehammer. There we go. We probably don't want those there because uh, there we are going to actually be able to see the floor. Uh, depending on what the flooring happens to be at this point. So, now I've got some ideas about what we're going to use. What materials we're going to use in our... 
lab here I've got I keep having to put the stone away I've got another load of it now um, and uh, I thought we'd have these for the outside walls uh, we've got some left over but I can imagine this is such a big room we're probably going to have to uh, get even more of these and we're going to use these similarly uh, to the way we used them previously like so all the way around the outside um, so I'm just going to do a section of the wall here so that you guys can see what I'm about. There we are. So we're going to do that. Um, and then what I had thought in here as well, um, we've got some, I'll just stack those better. There we go. We've got some white concrete here as well. And we want a sort of a sterile looking, clean working environment here. So we're going to have perhaps, uh, I don't know if we'll have a couple of blocks worth of, of this white like so. Um, this is just experimenting um, and then after that we've probably achieved sufficient height that we can carry out, out the next part of my plan which is to put in the roof and the roof is actually going to be slanted or sloped and I admit to being influenced on this one by Fallout 4 obviously Fallout 4 sort of uh, vault tech shelters but I just think it would look quite cool as well. We obviously need this to be quite a high ceiling. So it's a shame really that that isn't quite the right level for the block in point of fact. So what I might have to do is take out... Yeah, I could quite like to have the, the texture of those blocks meeting up. So maybe what we need to do... And I'll just try this, see what it looks like. Maybe what we need to do is start the metal blocks from here. There we go. Maybe we need to do that. Oops, that's not quite where I meant to put it. Yeah, that, that looks better, doesn't it? Perhaps it doesn't need to be any taller than that, actually, because perhaps what we need to do is have our roof slope actually going up quite a long way like that. Maybe that is the basis that we should work on. So the interior walls here... Uh, perhaps going to be of a different material. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but uh, first of all, I think we'll we'll just sort out these exterior walls here, roughly on this design. Okay, there we go. So we've pretty much done that now. I think that's as high as it needs to be. I might go one more level up than that, but I, to be honest, I'm not sure I can be bothered because I might need to take out too much of the ceiling to be able to do that. I'm going to have to finish off the ceiling. I haven't done the same thing with the roof in here because I'm not entirely sure if I want to decorate that wall in exactly the same way. Um, but uh, the ceiling, I don't know. I've kind of got it in my head. It'd be nice to have a sort of a glass ceiling with the lights behind it. Um, um, to sort of keep that uh, sterile environment idea but I think before we do that we really need to, to uh, get some flooring in here and sort out these inter interior or internal walls there we go do we want the window to be quite that big we probably do actually we probably do want it to be that big and then of course our doorway is going to be right there like that there we are. Oops. This floor level thing is really bothering me. And then, of course, we're going to need window frames in there and glass panes as well. And then probably what I'll do with the, the middle, the, the wall on the, the end of our uh, hydroponics lab, I'm going to use some more of this probably. Uh, we're going to use, obviously, the same metal for the roof. Uh, so I'm going to have to get some more of those. No, we might have enough there, actually. Maybe, possibly. Um, so I might use that or, or I might use, I don't know, I might use these blocks here because they sort of look like, I don't know, they, they look like vents or grates or something like that and that might look like a sort of a, an air con kind of unit effect going on. So we'll just put that in like that and see what that looks like. Yeah, that might that might be quite good actually to sort of have that or maybe even two levels of that. We do have enough of them. There we are. I'd always made those in 
uh, yeah, in the intention of making our wall there look like it, you know, some part of the base looked like it had got some ventilation there. So I might do that, or I might just deliberately put that in the center like it's a, a big kind of air duct or something like that. But uh, for the moment, I'm going to make some more of these concrete blocks, and I'm going to get our observation corridor finished off here, and then we can, uh, yeah, we can really start uh, getting this place into shape. Well, some progress has been made. I have finished off the internal walls. I have not yet glazed the windows, but they're all five blocks wide and uh, by two high. Uh, at least I thought they were. I think possibly one of these might be a little bit... Let's just check that. No, nope, that is five as well. That one is four. I have no clue how I managed to make this ever so slightly out off kilter. That is quite strange. I thought we were all even around here, but clearly we are not. It doesn't matter. I don't honestly care. I am not that OCD about it. It's fine. Um, and I decided to use these uh, metal blocks that look like grates. And I decided to kind of put them as ventilation uh, grating all the way around the top of the walls there uh, and then also at the top and the bottom of the back wall there and then we've got a sloped roof here as well but not just the bare metal because it doesn't look particularly sterile um, it did occur to me I could do that as white tiles and actually what I'd really like is to do a white tiled ceiling in here um, and uh, I think that's what we're going to do because here I've got the metal subceiling going up to roughly the same level, in fact exactly the same level as we're at here, but I might make the ceiling in here a little bit more arched than that. Uh, we haven't got the floor in yet, which means it's a little bit difficult to judge quite um, how uh, high up the ceiling really actually needs to be. So I think what we next need to do is we need to put the floor in in here uh, and then we're going to be able to more accurately judge how the ceiling is going to go. So we've got all these blocks. I'm going to get those out of the way. And then I've got these, these ones here, which we have left over, which are decided we're going to be quite good for the flooring around the outside of our hydroponic beds. Good afternoon, Daisy. There we go. So they look like, these are metal blocks too, but they kind of look sort of a bit industrially, but they kind of look a bit sort of, yeah, like, like tiles, don't they? And I quite like that. So we're going to have, um, let's see, we want several kind of set several sort of beds in here what we've we got the width of the place is 15 okay and we want to grow our crops in in various sort of little sort of crop plot type things we probably need to get down the middle more than we need to get around the edges so let's do that first off i'll just take this all the way to the end Oops, there we go, and another block there, so we have a pathway down the centre, except we've run out, there we go, so I need some more of these, there we are, hopefully I won't actually need to make any more, but I might do, and then what have we got, we've got our beds, if we go from the wall, are going to be six block blocks wide, which is kind of, yeah, that's quite nice, that's quite... Uh, and I don't think we really need, as long as we can get between them from here, I don't think we need to go right up to the wall with them. So I'm going to go two blocks apart. And if we do that, let's just place these blocks like this to see how that maps out. And then by two again. There we go. Almost perfect. Annoyingly, we've just got a little gap at the back there where we've uh, got just, you know, a little bit more space. But there we are. So I think we're going to have our beds go straight to the wall. Now, obviously, with this, we are going to need to infill with soil here to actually be able to uh, place, oops, to actually be able to sort of hoe and, uh, you know, sort of... Um, uh, yeah, grow crops, but uh, so I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the stone here So we go down at least one block. Uh, I do have a lot of dirt uh, Which for some I think we had to dig out a lot to, to make the castle or something So I have lots of dirt there which I could place in here. No problem at all But that's kind of the last thing we're gonna be doing really 
first I have to get the ceiling in here sorted out otherwise we just don't have an enclosed space uh, and more to the point we can't put our growing lights in if we don't actually have any lights uh, to uh, yeah if we don't have a ceiling to put those lights on so as I say I quite like a white tile ceiling white tiles there and then white tiles all the way and then uh, some uh, probably just some industrial kind of the kind of lights we've got in our main area here those ones I think we've got three of those left and then we'll need a few more of them of course yes there we go look there's some more of those left there uh, so that's great we're probably gonna want to put some sort of actually we've got storage here look we've got storage for plants and seeds there uh, so we're not gonna necessarily need any storage in the lab itself we're gonna need some sort of door on there um, again some uh, some sci-fi kind of doors would be quite good and then of course I'm gonna need to put in my windows too so I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the ceiling and then I'm gonna put in the windows and then we can think about lighting this place and then finally get on to putting in our hydroponic beds there we go and uh, I do want to put a well in the in the uh, bunker as well but I might just have to leave that for this episode this one's going to be long enough as it is but you can see why I need a well in this place because I'm constantly running out of water but it would make sense wouldn't it to put the doorway to the well going in that direction there and as for this point I'm not entirely sure what a bunker well would look like probably a tap to be fair but we don't really have that option at the moment so i'm going to get ahead and do that ceiling and i will see you guys when we're ready to put in some lighting okay here we go so i've got my ceiling now and as you can see what i have done is i have uh kind of made boxes which go above pretty much all of the beds apart from the one at the back there so depending on how much space we actually have in here for growing the crops that we need i might take out the back beds altogether and have something else at the back of the room but for the moment i'm not going to worry about that what i am planning on doing of course is putting my lighting up there but before we do that let's get our windows sorted out so once we've made one in the appropriate size we should be fine to make the others as well um so we need to get this to the appropriate height oops and we'll have it at that height because as we've found before if we want a slightly thinner window frame we just make it a little bit too big for the frame there we go and is that right i can't really see from yeah i think that's right that's not going to do for one of the windows because of course this one here is just a little bit smaller just to be annoying but it should fit all of our other windows which are all five by five so if i just check that yeah that's going to be right isn't it there we go and then of course we've got glass panes to place in there as well uh, so like so there we go um, and what I've also done we've got a load of these lights we've actually got lots and lots of these ceiling lights uh, we had some already but uh, I've gone ahead and made some more there we go and we can see that they fit in this way round and also that they will fit oopsie that is what I meant they will fit fairly well, just sort of smack bang in the middle of there as well, which is fantastic. There we are. So we're going to place all of these in here, and then we're going to be able to uh, take away the torches and see what this place looks like. It should be extremely well lit, I think, by the time we're finished. Okay, so as you can see, our central room here is very well illuminated from above. However, the corridor around the outside here, a little bit on the dim side. So we're going to have to put some lights there as well. And also, I could do with some lighting here in our access corridor. And uh, we're just going to put a couple of these strip lights here because we have quite a few of these left over. So just a couple of those should do the job, shouldn't they, like so. There we are, lovely. And we're going to need a door here. I'll probably put 
I don't know. We're probably going to need several doors, actually. We'll probably put a white door like this here, because this is what all the other doors around here are like, apart from this storage room door. And then we'll probably use a metal door here, just because it's the most appropriate thing we've got at the moment. Probably the grill door that we can actually sort of see through. Um, and the lights I'm going to use for uh, in our corridor here are the wall lights. And I'm actually going to put those up kind of at the top. Uh, in these metal panes. I think they would look quite good there, although they're not going to quite be in the same position because we've got a slightly, a slight anomaly in that I've somehow managed to make slightly one block longer this way than in this direction. I thought I'd counted correctly, but it seems not. So uh, unfortunately, it's a bit uneven, but it's not like you can really, really tell. So I'm not going to get all sort of bothered about that, really. Okay, so we're going to put these, I think we'll put one here and then we'll sort of dot them along relatively frequently but not too frequently so I'll put one at the other end similarly like there there we go and that completes the illumination so uh, now all we need to do is sort out our windows which we hadn't quite completed uh, and one of the other things that I really wanted to do with these so I'm going to put our grid on there we go what I really wanted to do with uh, these lights up here if this is going to be at all possible uh, I wanted oh dear we've got that going the wrong direction now Okay, there we are. More like that. What I wanted to do, if at all possible, um, we're going to have to resize this, of course, um, is actually turn these into sort of glazed windows in the ceiling. So let's see, is that right? I can't really tell. Gosh, it's very bright in here, but that's kind of how it's meant to be. So that's good. Yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it? And then if we can glaze that as well nice yeah that's nice i like that i like that a lot that's exactly what we want so we're going to go around and i don't know if i made enough of these window frames because i, I haven't been counting how many of them we actually needed and i think that's it so you can see from here it's slightly uneven but uh, other than that it's all done we've got the glazed in ceiling lights we've got the observation windows all the way around the outside looks like we could do with some sort of signage on the back wall there or something it's all very sterile looking in here but that's kind of the point but what it's really really lacking is the plants so i'm gonna go and get the dirt um and we're gonna fill all these holes in hopefully with said dirt uh, and and then hoe our rows and plant our crops and then we can call ourselves more or less done here uh i'm also oh it's foggy in in the vault uh i'm gonna also place a door on there and as i say one of these metal doors is gonna go on the end here probably just here leading into there it could do with being a glazed door really but we don't have such a thing in the game at the moment so i'm gonna make believe that that is what it is uh, and i will see you guys when we're ready to plant our crops well, we're just about finished in here and ready to plant. You wouldn't believe the trouble I've had filling these. Well, actually, if you've played this game, you probably would believe the trouble I've had filling these and getting them even vaguely level. And I always wanted to mix in with the stone that I had underneath as well. So I need to take out a load more stone. So we now have the world of stone down here. But there you go. It's a stone mine, not a bunker at all. OK, so what we need now is we need to hoe our rows. So I'm going to switch tools here and we're going to hopefully be able to there we go nice uh and hopefully this yeah unfortunately it's flattening it all out again isn't it am i using the wrong no i am definitely not so i'm gonna have to yet again do a bit of leveling here <coughs> which is annoying the hoe shouldn't really do that but no matter which mouse button i use it does seem to <coughs> completely level them again, uh, and I'm not quite sure why, so I'm going to have a bit of fiddling to do here. <coughs> to get these level, this one's more or less level, but if I can level the rest of them, then I will do. And then we're going to need our plants, uh, which we have the seeds all in here. Is it that one? Uh, no, it's this one here. There we go. We've got six of most things. Thank you, Daisy. Uh, we've got uh, an apple tree as well. I'm not sure if our ceiling is quite high enough for trees, but I thought we'd try one as an experiment. If we put it somewhere 
more or less central. It should uh, be just about tall enough, I think. Uh, but first, I'm going to have to try and level these plots again. <clears throat> and then we'll do a bit of planting and uh, call this place finished. Okay, there we go. Finally! There are times when using the creative menu is justified, I feel, and this was one of them. And as you can see, I still haven't managed to get it entirely level. So, yeah, game limitations and all that. But I finally got our beds more or less where we want them. So we'll transfer these here. Now, first of all, I've got a tree. But as I say, I'm not entirely sure whether a tree is just going to be way too big for the place. So, uh, I don't know. Where should we... It's, we're going to have to put our trees somewhere sort of fairly high and possibly sort of in the center now I've only got one sapling at this point but we can add more and it's probably a good idea if we do we've got one two three four five six beds so maybe uh, this end perhaps or I'd like to put them at this end but of course that's where we've got the slope so uh, no I think we'll place them in the middle here and for the moment I will just put that there, there we go. And then the rest of our crops, hopefully, we're going to have uh, sufficient space for all of these. So, first of all, I've got some cotton. Oh, I've got some dirt there still. We've got cotton and we've got hemp. Where's our hemp? That's sugar beet. That's corn. I'm fairly sure I've got... Oh, there it is. Look, hemp seedling there. And because these are non-edibles, we'll place those at this end here. There we go. And as usual, I'm going to turn these around a bit. In fact, let's even use the grid to place these nice and tidily. There we go. That's all our crops planted out now. I've got a space perhaps for another tree or, yeah, I probably don't, wouldn't want to put too many trees in here. Or I might decide that trees don't really have a place down here at all because we do, we have had to double up on some of the crops here. I've got strawberries in the same uh, bed as, uh, is that the chili plants? I think it is there as well. And I think I've got a couple more crops that are sharing. Have we? Uh, only the cotton and the hemp, which is fine, but uh, yeah, we could do with a, a separate bed for, for everything, really, and that tree might just grow unfeasibly large, in point of fact. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it more in the middle of the bed there, I think. There we are. That's better. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of an experiment, really, to see uh, how that works out, but I believe that these crops will grow all right. Yeah, look, there we go. There's evidence our first plant that we've got has already germinated. Whoop, there we go. There go the, the, the pumpkins. So that is going to provide our uh, vault with the food that it needs. I'm going to shut this apparently hermetically sealed door. There we go. And now we can see the crops from outside without sort of, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> contaminating the area uh, and uh, yeah they will help supply our vault with food and with medical supplies in the uh, case of the cotton and the hemp so there we go folks that is our vault now pretty much completely finished the only other thing that I will add and I will do that by myself off camera is a uh, a well uh, of some description so that we have a water source down here as well and I will do that on this side uh, so only one thing remains for the moment which is to place hopefully on the right angle there we go a final metal sign here which we want to read hydroponics or hydroponics lab there we go super Fabulous! There we go. So now we have got a truly self apart from the water situation, which I will resolve myself, uh, a truly uh, self-sufficient vault. And I will take a blueprint of this place as well, so that um, uh, when we're ready to start a new game, if we want to populate it with builds that we've already created, we can easily do that. It feels like a bit of an exploit. Something tells me I'm not going to be doing that uh, to uh, as a base or anything for us to uh, to live in when we f start our new save <coughs> excuse me but uh, nonetheless uh, it will be nice to have that facility and I have added a few more uh, items to our blueprint here including a modern house which uh, was one of our previous saves so we're starting to get quite a library of them together now which is great 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this build and I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I say this is the last episode because I wanted to start a brand new series as soon as the models, the character player model uh, update comes out. And uh, we're going to find it a bit difficult to do that and jump right on in there straight away when that update uh, hits. If I am mid-build um, and I want to just start a new, a fresh, uh, with a new save and a new world and take it from there uh, with our new player model. And I believe we'll have third person as well, so we'll actually be able to enjoy our player model even in single player, which will be nice. Uh, and the new clothing and things that we can craft too. So very much looking forward to that and I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you guys will join me for that new series as and when it comes out. Uh, but in the meantime, I will be starting a new little game series. I'm hoping it's not going to be too long uh, and we're not going to be without a rising world for too long. But in the meantime, sit tight and a normal service will be resumed as soon as the update comes out. So I hope you guys uh, understand that. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, let me know. Leave me your hints, tips, comments, and suggestions for future builds as well. And I hope to see you in the brand new series, Series 3 of Rising World, hopefully coming to my channel soon. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.